Okay, so this radio looks familiar, does it not? I give you, once again, the Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS, my most viewed video of 2023. Did you see the modification? If you blink, it'll go by. So I did a video on this radio and gave you my initial impressions. It's decent. It had a GPS feature that I didn't know how to function. I didn't know how to operate. I didn't know how to make it share its GPS information. Well, come to find out, it will share its GPS location with other radios over RF. But it will only work with another Baofeng UV17 Pro. And then once I put my video out, everybody's asking me, hey, where can I get one of these? Where, this, this, where can you find it? It's not on Amazon. So I give them my link for AliExpress, and lo and behold, they stopped selling them for a while. I don't know if their stock run out or they needed another production run. I don't know. Well, at the end of the year, when I got to looking at all my statistics and what have you, I noticed that this video was my most watched. Over 11,000 views for this video on the Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS. So I went back to AliExpress. And guess what I found? Yes. They had them back in stock. They're about 35, 38 bucks. And I found the software to add a a boot image the only thing is it doesn't flash for very long and it gets two beeps when it boots up the the firmware versions are just a little different by one decimal i think this is version 1.28 hardware 1.30 this one's 1.27 hardware 1.30 See that 101 and 102 at the top? It says radio. That's the key to making these two talk to each other and share their location. Not a perfect radio, but for a cheap radio, it's got a few features. Number one, you push and hold the blue button, you get the location that the GPS is pulling. And when it says my place, position, success, it means it's acquired, it's acquired its GPS location. As you can see, the height differs, but the location is fairly close. Probably would do a lot better outside. But when the green, the letters GPS here are in green, it means it's acquired its signal. I've got them both on 444.000. Push and hold. Push and hold. I don't know that re both radios have to be in this, but I do know it, the sending radio has to be in this menu. You hear that data burst? So this radio is listed in this one's contacts list as orange. So if we hit the up arrow, that one's black, which is the host. Orange, get position. 35, 26, 54, 4. 95, 59, 14, 7. 263. There's only a few meters difference, but it sent its position. So, if I want to do the same thing with this radio, set it here. This one's list this radio is listed in this radio as black. Orange is the host and black. Get position. 35 2654.6. There's a little bit of a difference, but that one will waver. 9559 14.6. And the height is a little bit different. But they're pretty close together and they're indoors. So we're going to take them out into the frigid Oklahoma cold. Put them a little ways apart and let's just see what happens. So, and that's something else too. When you power cycle the radio, it does not almanac its settings. So when you power cycle it or pull the battery or whatever, it's got to reacquire. And there it did. 
position success. Oh, it's on the wrong channel. You noticed that the information changed here. I do know that it shared its position again, but this one changes pretty regular. It's still trying to acquire, I'm sure. Now, once you're in this screen, you can hit the green button and get this. And you can see that it's labeled black at the top. But what does that give me? I don't know. I'm going to have them share their location with one another outside and see if maybe it gives me an arrow or something to point it to the other one. I don't know. We'll find out right after these tests. Okay. As you can see, both the radios are powered off. And we'll turn them on. And as you can tell, the position marker icon at the top is in red. It resembles what would look like a pin drop on a Google Maps map, as it were. So we'll sit here and give them a minute to acquire and get a position. Okay, that one's turned gray, and now this one's turned gray, which means they've acquired. So they're on the same channel, 444.000 for... Uh, testing purposes. I got them on low power. No CTCSS tones or anything like that. We'll put this one into digital mode. I mean into GPS mode. And you can see by the green lettering here that it has acquired its signal. And it says position success. And this is its position. And we can come here, put it into GPS mode, and it's got its position and it sets the time. Now, if I hit the up button, it'll go into the address book, so to speak, the contacts list, more likely. And we can go to two black, and it says it's never get, never get position. It's never received a position in this power cycle. So, since they're on the same channel, we can hit transmit on this one. And it receives this position from the other radio. And that looks to be identical. Now... We can go to, sorry, this is the contact for the orange radio, and this one, is, you can see it says never got position, never get position, whatever. It hasn't received that radio's position yet. But what if you get a signal from someone and you don't know it's coming, but you're on the same channel? So we're just gonna go back to this main screen just like you were in normal operation. But the holder of the orange radio is like, oh, I'm in trouble and I need him to know where I'm at. So he switches to this screen, but he goes to my place. That's what you see when you first push and hold this button. And it's acquired its signal. Wow, you see the artifacts on the screen? I wasn't expecting that. But it's basically a pop-up It says orange has reported its position. So let's push and hold this. And it has the position of the orange radio. And it matches almost perfectly. It knows its own position and now has the position of the orange. So let's try that same thing in reverse order. So let's clear the slate here. Turn them both back on and wait for them to reacquire their GPS position. And now the black one has it. So now we're gonna put, we're gonna leave this one in its normal mode. But first I wanna show you that it knows its position because it's the orange radio there, but it, the black radio, hey, I've never received a position from them, okay? So we'll put this one in GPS mode it knows its position and no pop-up which I don't know what the difference is or if there's a setting for that I haven't found it yet if there is but and nonetheless we'll go here push and hold and now it's got 
the position for the black radio, 35, 26, 54.5, 95, 59, 14.5, 245.3, and this one says 245.8, but man, that's pretty daggum accurate. So how far will that reach? Well, I'm on a simplex channel. I haven't worked the timing out yet of running it through a repeater, but we're gonna give it a try and see what can we can come up with. So hang on, we'll be back. And here we go. Okay, we're over by the high school again where we first failed. You can see the radio has acquired its position. We need to change this back to that channel. Put it in GPS mode. Go to the orange radio. Request its position. Okay, well, I guess the signal, the better antenna, is not going to prevail today. Well, that's unfortunate. I am pushing its limits a little bit, but we'll try a higher elevation, see if that works. Okay, now we're at the second position where the signal failed. We'll try it again. We're a little further away though, but we're elevation and we, we're at a position with greater elevation. It's just not going to do it. <laughs> and we got it. Hot dog. Let's check our compass. Can you see where that red dot is? I can't. Oh, there it is on the line. straight east of us as it should be. 2,088 meters. Awesome possum. All right, let's try some more positions. Okay, now we're almost straight south. Well, we can see this. if it's supposed to be a short press or a long press or what. It's like a short press wins. Okay, we'll go to the compass, get back inside the truck, and you can see the dot is just directly north of us, 990 meters. Cool. Let's try one more. Right up the top of that hill is where we're headed. We'll be able to see part of downtown Henrietta right through those trees. That's Hope Hill in Henrietta, Oklahoma. Here we are, Hope Hill Road. Okay, we're right back up here on the top of Hope Hill Road. And we're going to request the position of the orange radio. We got the new reading, which their position didn't change and ours is. But you can tell they're right there with, to the, our northwest where they should be. Looks like 2,609 meters away. Ain't that something? Interesting stuff. Not such a bad thing when you're out in the wilderness and might need some help. But let's say your hunting partner gets hurt and you need to know their location and they need you to know their location. They can put their radio in GPS mode and you can make as many requests to its location as you need to as long as it's powered on, has battery. 
or if you need them to know where you're at and you're still able to talk or what have you, you can put your radio in GPS mode, put it on your position, hit the PTT, sends out that data packet, the other radio receives it, and now it knows where you're at. So not a, not a bad little thing to have these days. <laughs> Use it as you will, but nonetheless, there it is. I hope you uh, get something out of this video. And I'll be honest with you, the uh, biggest reason I was motivated to do two radios on the UV17 Pro GPS, it was my highest watched video last year. Over 11,000 views, that's a big deal for me. So I figured, hey, people wanna know a little bit more about this radio, so let's explore it. I have other handy talkies that I'm reviewing right now, and we're gonna explore them too, but this one had features. I mean, for 35 to 38 bucks, wow, not bad. They could use a stronger radio, I'm sorry, they could use a stronger battery, because with the GPS turned on, it drains the battery faster. Now, you're still gonna get a few hours out of it, but if they made a higher capacity battery, would be a lot better and a zoom in feature on that compass wouldn't hurt either especially for these old eyes so now that one location that i used over by the high school where i couldn't get a signal through or it didn't report back could very well be because i pushed the push to talk too long i was pushing it holding it and it seems to be working better if i just push and release it sends a data packet triggering the other radio to send its location packet interesting stuff if you ask me so I don't know that I'll try that. I kind of proved my point showing these locations and these radios are only five watts that they are reported to be. Now we're gonna do an RF signal test, but uh, they're advertised as a five watt radio. And I had to put better antennas on them just to get the distance that I wanted. Now I use the rubber duckies from up here on Hope Hill Road from the house and here and it worked, but there's very little in between us other than elevation. So, not bad for a little five watt radio. These are meant to be used in a situation where you would need someone to know where you're at. So I could throw you a scenario. Let's say you and a friend, let's say you and a friend are out hunting. Maybe you're out on a deer lease and you're hunting two different spots. And all of a sudden, I don't know, something happens to you and you need to get your location to the other person for whatever reason. You put your radio in GPS mode and you can still push to talk. It, uh, if you're on the screen that says my position or yeah, I think it says my position, it's the initial screen once it's acquired and you hit the push to talk, it'll send out your location, but you, then you can also send a voice message. You know, it's a straight RF, just like you were talking on walkie talkie. But let's say you couldn't talk. You get your radio into the GPS mode for your location, leave it turned on. And the other party, once they figure out they can't reach you, they'll start making requests to your radio to see if it will report back and they can find their way to you. They can continue making requests of your radio's location as long as your radio's turned on and has battery power. Stop and think about it. That's not a bad little feature to have, and it's on a bail thing? Hmm. I gotta say, I'm a little impressed, bail thing. It is what it is. Well, folks, this is Freddie Mac reporting from the top of Hope Hill Road here in Henrietta, Oklahoma. Wishing all the good signals to be yours. Saying 73s and am on, y'all.